Welcome back to Central News. Now, like most things in this day and age, there is always a prevention measure. So how do you prevent bro a bones from being broken? Well, joining me today is Jane Kirkley, again from Bay Naturopaths. Welcome to the show, Jane. Thank you. It's good to have you here because I love getting this information that actually works. Wait. And when we're taking a look at bones, it doesn't start once the child's born. It actually starts in the womb, doesn't it? Yeah, even before birth. So that preconception mm. care is really important. And that's for the man and the woman to eat really well before they even want to conceive. And a good six months, but at least four months before conception. And that's mainly for the guys, that four months yeah. uh, before, but women too, yeah. So um, with the calcium, I mean, how can you actually build strength in your bones? Well, what you're looking for is first is getting the calcium available in the diet, so yeah. sort of whatever stage, and uh, making sure you have all the foods that are high in calcium. A lot of people know about dairy products being yeah. high in calcium, but there's plenty of other foods, and some people can't eat the dairy products for various reasons. But things like um, the vegetables, especially broccoli, doesn't broccoli have more calcium in it than a, than a glass of milk I read somewhere? Sure it depends sort of weight for weight, yeah, yeah. yeah. The thing is with the vegetables, it seems that um, the calcium is more easily absorbed into the body. That's another big factor, getting that absorption. Um, another big um, source of calcium is nuts yeah. and also seeds and, of course, fish, especially fish bones, any kind of bones. So if you can boil up and make your bone broths, Great way of getting that uh, the calcium in, as well as lots of other very important minerals and nutrients. Some yummy fish soup then, should it mm, be on our diet? Absolutely, diets? yeah. <laughs> it could be nice, I didn't really try it. <laughs> well, you, you sort of have to have a stage where you sort of get uh, get it made, get a few hours to get it made, and look, if you want to get the stock drained off and use it again another day, because it takes a bit of boiling up, two to three hours to really mm. boil up to get those minerals out of it. But well worth it, and just strain it off, and that's really nutrient-rich yeah. so stock. Yeah. yeah. When you're taking a look at calcium needs for a child, it's completely different to an adult? Well, I have different needs, but it's important to focus at both times. So when the child is growing their bones, but they're also laying down the foundations for strong bones later in life. Um, as I say, from an earlier stage, yeah. but particularly the ages between about 9 and 14, really important that they uh, calcium and the other important minerals are there in the diet at that time too, because that lays the foundation down for risk of osteoporosis, weak bones, fractures later, later on in life. Um, so what about calcium supplements? I mean, do you recommend that? Not necessarily. And you, you have to be sort of very careful in the amount of calcium because other important nutrients like magnesium, um, very important with that calcium-magnesium balance. Mm. And um, the absorption of the nutrients, really important. So I always recommend the entire couture, uh, food state nutrients, because although they have a low dose, they have a very high absorbency is really important. Because that's what we need. We need to get it into the bones. Is there anything that we're eating that could be trying to weakening the bones? Definitely. Yeah. Um, soft drinks are an absolute no-no. They really weaken mm. the bones. Two reasons. One, the sugars, but also the phosphates in any fizzy drinks. So that could even be fizzy water. Um, and the phosphates upset the calcium phosphate ratio in the bones, basically make the bones weaker. Because even as an adult, our bones are replenishing all the time. They don't stay just static, the same old bones every day. They're actually a living tissue, so being replaced. Um, so, and there's yeah. other things in the diet. Um, salt, for instance, that's another bad thing in the diet that really weaken the bones too. Jane, it's yeah. all the good stuff. It's the soft drinks, it's the salt, they're just not good. Absolutely. And the other thing to think about is, apart from exercise, apart from diet rather, is exercise. Um, so that's really important to keep our bones strong. The more we exercise, especially outdoors or especially under any kind of gravity, which is really any exercise apart from swimming, because we've got that gravity which helping the calcium get into the bones and the other special nutrients in the bones. So it's basically using your body as well, you know, use your bones, get out there, do a bit of exercise and that's going to strengthen it. Absolutely, yeah, and then you get stronger. Astronauts who are up in space are very famous uh, studies on when they were up in space, even for a few days, they came back and because they weren't under any form of gravity, the calcium didn't actually go into their bones that easily and they came back, even though they're very fit men and women, they came back with quite weak bones. So they had to put them on special exercise programs um, to get that calcium back and encourage the body to lay down the foundations for strong bones. Mm. Yeah. It's never too late to start looking after your bones? Absolutely, never too late. So, you know, check out the soft drinks. Um, fast food, don't have there anything with salt in it. Avoid that and, of course, all the good nutritious food. Yeah. 
make sure you have it. Thank you so much for coming on the show today, Jane. You're welcome. Uh, Jane Kirtley there from Bay Naturopath, making sure you're going to have big, strong bones. And that's all that we've got time for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, remember, if you want to contact us, jump on our website, tvcentral.co.nz, or flick us an email at news at tvcentral.co.nz. Right, don't forget, tomorrow is Wear Your Bathrobe to Work and Wish for Better Things Day. So I want to see you out there tomorrow wearing your bathrobe. Have a fantastic evening. I'll see you again tomorrow. This has been an Alpha Media Production, a division of Television Media Group. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand On Air.